Now, meteorologist Harley Smith and your Storm Team 2 forecast. Today in the Miami Valley, we are tracking the risk of severe weather. There could be some isolated areas of flash flooding. Uh, high wind is also going to be the main concern, especially as we head into the afternoon and evening. Right now on our satellite radar imagery, I want to show you guys all of the wind and uh, storm damage reports from this line of storms that we've been tracking since yesterday evening through Wisconsin down into the Chicago area, now into northern Indiana. We do have uh, uh, more than 250 miles of damage, which will likely make this uh, officially considered a derecho, but there's a couple of other factors that need to be analyzed by the National Weather Service. This line of storms is tracking along a stalled out front into Ohio, so it's inching closer as we speak. It does look like we'll get these storms now just about 36 miles from the edge of Mercer County, still expecting them to arrive around 7 o'clock this morning. Here's the breakdown on future track. You can see that here. We do expect those storms to be in the region through about 10 o'clock before they weaken and then we will see a break before new storm development happens later on this afternoon. Uh, you can see around one o'clock storms across those northern counties. These will be very spotty storms, so not everyone is going to see the severe weather, uh, but those that do all of these storms will have the potential for those 60, possibly even up to 70 mile per hour wind gusts. We will begin to see a weakening trend as we head into the night. Storms will dissipate and our skies will begin to clear out during the day on Friday. Friday, and we are looking at more sunshine. For now, you can tell it's humid out there. Our temperatures are a little bit warmer than they've been the last few nights as we are seeing cloud coverage beginning to increase. 71 in Troy, 68 in Springfield, 68 in Urbana right now if you're headed out the door. On our Goodwill Auto Auction Company camera, temperature is 74, that dew point is 68. That is a high dew point. Anytime it's close to 70, we are really starting to feel very sticky out there. Winds are light. Uh, your relative humidity is 82%. I expect those dew points to be up into the 70s. That's starting to get into the miserable range. Uh, and our heat index values will be up into the mid to upper 90s, possibly around 96 degrees for your feels like temperature there into this afternoon. The actual temperature may not break the 90s. 89 degrees your high today, scattered with the those thunderstorms, so depending on if you see the storms, it may be cooler at times. It is going to be hot and humid. We cool things off heading into the night. We'll be back into the 60s for your lows. Then look at tomorrow. 80 degrees. Oh, it's going to feel so nice. Our humidity is going to drop. But first, we have to get through this hot and humid day with our thunderstorms in the area. In your pollen reports, there it is again. We are looking at those higher levels of mold. Uh, 82 for the weekend. Very nice conditions Saturday and Sunday. Temperatures falling down into the 70s even as we start off next week. And we'll see lows in the upper 50s. So it's going to be quite pleasant. A nice cool down after the heat we've been dealing with.